Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel English Banisa. Students, in today's video, we are going to see a Mahatma Gandhi's prose "Shine Is My Shield." So, this "Shine Is My Shield" is an essay written by Mahatma Gandhi. This essay was extracted from Gandhi Ji's autobiography, "The Story of My Experiments with Truth." This the story of my experiments with truth is the autobiography of Mahatma Gandhi covering his life from early childhood to 1921 so this shines my shield is extracted from the story of my truth from gandhi's autobiography this shines my shield it tells about the initial fear of gandhi ji to deliver a public speech when he was a student in england So before moving to the further explanation of this essay let us know about the persons who are involved in this and also the introduction to this author Mahatma Gandhi So Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi popularly known as Mahatma Gandhi and Bapuji was a key figure of the Indian national freedom struggle Apart from being a political leader Gandhi also became well known for his strict adherence to truth his camp campaign for human rights and for championing the philosophy of non-violence Gandhi's life and teaching inspired many leaders in socio-political movements not just India but around the world So Gandhi became a member of the Vegetarian Society in England when he was studying law. He was elected to the executive committee and decided to attend every meeting of the society. So during that time Gandhi ji became a member of the Vegetarian Society in England when he was studying law. So this Vegetarian Society of the United Kingdom is a British registered charity which was established on 30th September 1847 to promote vegetarianism. So students everyone are familiar with the meaning of this vegetarian vegetarians are nothing but a person who does not eat meat or fish or sometime other animal products especially for moral uh, religious or health reasons so this essay also shows the puritanical and anti puritanical views puritans are nothing but these are the persons who who has sincerious moral beliefs and the anti puritans are nothing but those who are opposed to these puritans So during those days the vegetarian society faced a serious problem because of the differences between two person which is Mr Hills and Dr Eliasson So now let's students see the brief intro to these persons Mr Hills and Dr Eliasson So students this Mr Hills was the president of the society and he was also a puritan and he was generous and magnanimous in giving arms and many members of the society were his supporters and here the second one dr eliarson he is also a important member and he was advocating artificial birth control among the working class people and he is anti puritan and we have already discussed about this mk gandhi so now let's start uh, the summary of this essay shyness my shield by mahatma gandhi and also we'll know how his shyness become his shield shyness is my shield by mk gandhi was extracted from mahatma gandhi's autobiography the story of my experiments with truth this essay tells us about the initial fear of gandhi to deliver a public speech when he was a student in england during bar at law It recalls the first incident of Gandhi's repeated attempts and failures to deliver a public speech. At the end Gandhi says that his shyness become his shield and a buckler. So Gandhi become a member of the Vegetarian Society in England when he was studying law. He was elected to the executive committee and decided to attend every meeting of the society. So as the ex executive member he has to speak address uh, the gathering. But he was uh, tongue tied and never opened his mouth. He was silent when so no other members were eloquent on the given topic. He developed a sort of inferiority complex thinking that others are better than him. So Gandhi used to feel tongue tied in the presence of a group. People used to think of him as a drone, a male bee which is throughout idler. He was at the loss of words to express himself amidst the group of people. Hence he was thought of an idler, idle man. So during those days uh, vegetarian society faced a serious problem because of the differences between two person Mr Hills and Dr Eliarson As we have discussed earlier Mr Hills was the president of the society and he was also a puritan 
and he was generous and magnanimous in giving alms and many members of the society were his uh, protege means supporters whereas the dr elinson was another important member he was uh, advocating artificial birth control among the working class people so mr he regarded the activity as against the morals preached by the puritans so he wanted to expel dr elinson from the group committee Gandhi also did not like the idea of artificial birth control movement so Gandhi tried to speak for the first time in public as the supporter of family planning methods but he failed in his attempt of delivering a speech as he did not want Mr Hills expel Dr Elinson from the group that is Gandhi did not want to support Mr Hills decision because he thought that any vegetarian can be a member of the vegetarian society mr hills brought a motion proposal to remove dr elinson but gandhi wanted to oppose the proposal of hills but he did not have the guts courage to speak so he wrote down his thoughts on a piece of paper he could not ever read it someone else read his speech in the voting so dr elinson lost and he was ostracized from the society Gandhi felt himself siding the losing party and resigned from the society. So he shines retained throughout his stay in England. In one more incident Gandhi went to went to with SJT Mazumdar. He was invited to speak at a meeting for the promotion of vegetarianism. But he failed in his second attempt also. His vision blurred and he could not proceed further. Due to this he felt ashamed and was sad at the heart for his incapacity. So Gandhi's last effort to make a public speech in England was on the eve of his departure for India. He invited all his vegetarian friends to dinner in Holborn restaurant. During the dinner also he started his speech with a humorous anecdotes. He began with the Edison anecdotes but he stuck there. He made himself ridiculous and sat abruptly by thanking the guest. this we can say gandhi could not learn the art of public speaking while he was in england it was only in south africa he got uh, over his this shyness but not completely it was impossible for gandhi to speak impromptu without preparation he hesitated whenever he had to face a strange audience and he avoided making his speeches he admitted that he is neither a good communicator nor a conversationalist So the conclusion to is, is this as they is that Gandhi says that his constitutional shyness has been no disadvantage at all. He admits that his shyness was once an annoyance and then a pleasure. Occasionally his shyness put him in awkward situation but it was all to his advantage. Gandhi felt that his constitutional shyness silence was not a disadvantage. It actually helped him to develop his personality by stating to truth. His shyness taught him the economy of words. He learned restraining his thoughts. He never uttered a thoughtless word in his life. He also felt that silence was a part of the spiritual discipline of a supporter, votary of the chit. He also said that a man of few words will rarely be thoughtless in his speech. He will measure every word. He also said that his shyness had been his shield and a buckler. It had allowed him to grow. It had helped him in his uh, judgment of the truth. So his experiment had taught Gandhi ji that silence was a part of the spiritual discipline of the supporter of the truth. He said that his shyness had been in reality his shield and a buckler. So I would like to conclude my video by this beautiful line: "Speech is silver, silence is gold." So this is all about shyness, my shield by Mahatma Gandhi. I hope it would be helpful for you. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.